from the city of brotherly love and Citizens Bank Park Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, first pitch coming up. And on the mound for Philadelphia in this one, Taiwan Walker. Leading off the well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. One out in the top of the first. Batting second. The designated Here's Shohei Otani. What a season it's Ohtani. been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Checks his swing, appeal to third, and he went, says Dave Lawrence. One down, base is empty. Bows it off, still one and two. Taiwan Walker, a sneakerhead, saying he's got over a thousand pairs of sneakers. Are we serious with over a thousand pairs of sneakers? He's like you. How many do you have? Not a thousand. The one, two. Two, two, two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that split caught a lot of the zone. Definitely a hittable pitch, but coming off the fastball, the pitch before, it's kind of tough to recognize. You notice there's something. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. Now it's going to be Kyle Schwarber. For the Phillies, the center field. Kyle Schwarber. Here's a 1-1. Way out front for strike two. And down on strikes he goes. One gone here. Trey Turner at the plate. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. Good eye right there. It's a good take. And a pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. The pitch. Upstairs. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's Harper now. Another solid power season. That one is absolutely belted. Hits the fence. The throw in, but he's in there easily. He was all over that one. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent nope, swing the of the bat. Off the mark there. Two balls and a strike. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of it. And now this is down for a base hit. Here's the throw to the plate. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. This is Bryson Stott. 
Foul ball, and it remains a full count. There are lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the that ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch. But neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. And now it's Alec Bohm. That misses the zone, and it's 2-1. and one. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. 2-1 now. And it's fouled away. Now all lead it up. There's a swing and a drive. That one is back. Oh. He circles the bases. Home run number 15 on the year. It's 4-0. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. The slight opposite field into the gap, man, making it look easy, that's for sure. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Next offering upstairs. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. Got him. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run homer. It's now. Back here at the ballpark, here's Mike Moustakis to hit. The third baseman, number eight, Mike Moustakis. Singy Taiwan Walker originally drafted in the first round by the Mariners back in 2010 and a guy who's put together a very solid career. He was an all-star with the Mets in 2021. Next pitch misses, three and two now. Well, showed a lot of promise early on, but dealt with some injuries there and a lack of consistency. But over the last couple of seasons has really found it, like the way that he commands that two-seam fastball. You don't see a whole lot of guys using that pitch as much as they used to, but he's got a good thing working with it. Here's the shortstop at the play, Luis Rangifo. Next pitch is downstairs. Foul ball. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. The punch out there. Two up, two down. Well, he's really dialed in, and this offense is going to have to do something to try to break that rhythm. Maybe it's square around the bond, step out of the box, agitate him a little bit, do something that just changes. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out. And back here, Citizens Bank Park, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. There's a 1-1. One -one. Two balls, one strike. Fouled off. He was late. Here's the 2 2. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for strike three. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with the high Fast fastball enough. and then no bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Here's Jake Cave now. Next pitch has popped up. Number 18 on his way over. Makes the grab on the run. And there's two away. Now batting. Kyle Schwarber no, comes up to hit over. here. Kyle. He is very much your typical Schwarber. power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Here comes a pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. No runs, no hits, no air. Welcome back. And here's Leading the catcher, Logan Ohoppy. The catcher, number 14. 
Logan Ohapi. And the pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in, and that's a double. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. Hey. Fastball for a strike. One and two. No outs. Runner on second. That one misses. And yeah, that's ball two. Goes down looking. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow it just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Ohapi leads off second with one gone in the inning. Right side. Stott over to first in time. And yeah, there's two away. Now batter, number 18. Number 18, the next to hit for the Angels. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Out towards right center field. Schwarber settles under it. And that is that. Angels strand one. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. As we go to the last of the third. Trey Turner now. The 2-1. Just off the outside edge. Well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper is looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. Yeah, there's ball four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And one away. Up next for Philadelphia. Here's Nicholas right Castellanos. Nick. One for one with a single oh, and a run up. scored so far. Kicks and fires. Turner runs. Throw to second and great jump. Well, I'm sure that still will raise a couple of eyebrows because of this big lead. But I think it's more respect for their opponent, knowing that they've got to continue to add on if they're going to win this game. Don't take it as an offense. Take it as a sign of respect. And a base hit. Flying around third is Turner. He'll score, and the lead is up to five. Ball does a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock. You add a run. Bryson Stock digs in now. He walked and came around to score his first time up. The pitch. Ground ball could be two. To second, there's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Here's the third baseman, Alec Bohm. He had a big three-run homer at his first trip. And here's a 3-2. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Good job at damage control. Back at Citizens Bank Park, John Chomby with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Shohei Otani. The 2-1. Good eye right there. 
You know, these angels, balls, as this game point. goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch okay. of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Nice. He goes down looking. You know, splitters aren't thrown by a ton of pitchers, and one of the main reasons is that they're difficult to control. And not many guys can spot them consistently where they want to, but he's one of those exceptions. He's found a way to corral a split, and he can oh. place it on a dime just like he did right there. Whips it to first. Two quick eight. outs here in the top of the fourth. Moustakis. So in now for the Angels, Mike Moustakis. His first at bat was a strikeout. Ball to strike. Two balls, one strike. The 2 1. On the ground, right yeah. side. And foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. His 13th home run of the season, and they're on the scoreboard. It's 5-1. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now a 5-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Philadelphia, bottom of the fourth, JT Real Muto steps in. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Now, now it's the DH, Brandon Marsh. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. The next offering misses, and it's two and one. Look, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Cabbage hauls it in, and there's two away. So digging in, Jake Cave. He's 0 for 1. In for a strike, and the count is even 2 and 2. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Next offering misses. Counts full, three and two. Two outs. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. One left for Philadelphia. Back here in Philadelphia, ready now for the fifth inning. Here's a speed threat, Mickey Moniak. Mickey Moniak. Hard hit, right side. Takes it himself, and a quick out number one. Now batting, catcher, Logan. Now the catcher up to hit, Logan Ohapi doubled his first time up. Kicks and deals. Ball. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. The 2-1. Hey. Curveball over for a called strike. Hey. 
Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Next one is off the play. Ball three. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. And down on strikes. And there's two down. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Just missed. On the ground, Turner. Zips it to first, third out, and that ends the frame. Angels held in check. New pitcher on here, Chase Silson. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Right-hander kicks, deals. Silson. That All misses two. the zone. Now two balls and a strike. Two one. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Trey Turner crushes it. His 18th home run of the season, and they add to the lead. It's six one. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Bryce Harper to the plate, one for two. The pitch. Drury tosses to first, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. The right fielder, number eight, Nick. Come Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Right-handed reliever. And that one is lifted in the air. Cabbage makes the catch. And there's two away. And digging in for Philadelphia, Bryson Stock. And the right-hander deals. Not close with that one. Two balls and a strike. And he pumps it a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch he'll see in this at bat to hit. Righty to the plate. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that ends the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And this is... Back here, Citizens Bank Park. New inning getting started. Randall Gritchick now. Now a screamer into the outfield. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. So a man aboard, Shohei Otani. Hard ground ball, base knock. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Brandon Drury to the plate. The 1-1. One, one. Ripped on a line, and it goes just foul. Now just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. Here's a 1-2. Looked like it was a little bit up, stirring in the Phillies' bullpen. Andrew Bellotti, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Dominguez getting loose as well. Gets a piece and stays alive. pitch out there to center Schwarber settles under it and there are two down
And the Phillies manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make a move. Taiwan Walker. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Gregory Soto. He last pitched two days ago. So up next, Mike Moustakis. He's already homered here in this one. Broken bat, and it's popped up. Boom. Throws out to first. And that is that. So a job well done from the Philly bullpen. Alec Bohm getting ready to hit. He's already homered in this game. And he deals. That one is upstairs. Two balls, one strike. That misses. And that's ball three. Three balls, one strike. Line drive, caught! The batter, the catcher. And now it is JT Real Muto. Chris, do you know what JT stands for in JT Real Muto? Of course, Boog, it's Jacob Tyler. Swing and a miss. Yeah, the count, one and two. The punch out there, two out. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an now individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And there's a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Nice now line drive to the pull side eight. right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Now the left fielder, Jake Cave. The 1-1. One -one. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Fights it off, you'll see another. The one two. Cap dances out of the way of that one. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Left hand hitter waits. Battling here as he fouls it away. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Now moves to first, and he's back in there. Two two. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And the Phillies strand one. They lead it, though, 6-1. All set for the start of the inning. So in now for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. Oh, great stop. Over to first. Oh, the throw is wild. Uh, that's a dangerous throw for the first baseman to try to handle right there. Exposed him to a potential collision, and we've all seen some of the ugly ones over the years on plays similar to that one. So it's great. Nothing came out of that other than the throwing error. Next offering upstairs. You know, these Angels looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. And ball four to a board. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed the and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge Logan. the guy with the fastball. Oh, Here's the catcher, Logan Ohoppy. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. The 3 1. Right through there for a strike. I got three and two. That's towards center. Schwarber settles under it. He's got it. Runner tags at second. Throw into third. 
And he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. One away. And next for the Angels, Trey Cabbage. Now batting the right fielder, Trey Cabbage. The 1-1. One, one. Just oh. missed. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Got it! Nice grab. Two down. Up next for the Angels. The Here's left the left fielder, Randall, Randall Grichik. Grichik. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Stott over to first in time. And that's the third out. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. Welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the center fielder, Kyle Schwarber. And that one hammered. That's back there. And it's gone. His 37th over of the year. And they add a run. It's 7-1. He dropped the barrel right there. Got a fastball down at the knees where he'd prefer it. So many times now, guys are having to adjust to the elevated fastball. So I'm sure his eyes got big when he saw that one coming. Number 59 gets the call from the pen. And one thing on him. He's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. Here's Turner now. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Righty delivers. Turner checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. No swing. And the righty deals. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. The high heat too much on that one. And now here is Harper. One for three. The one one. And oh. another ball. Here's Harper, the count two and one. Oh, that one drifts inside. At the belt and fires. That's a laser base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than no that. Right Good pitch Double hard and inside, but he showed off some quick hands, got the barrel to it, and was able to yank it into the outfield. One gone runner at first. Now it's the right fielder, Nick Castellanos. Ball Next three. offering is downstairs. Three balls, one strike. pitch they had a swing and a miss there when you throw a fastball by a guy like that I imagine it's got to feel incredible look for him to throw it again at some point good job to fight that one off Harper leads off first with one away Got it by him for the K. 
Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much no to bad. it. And I'm sure he'd love another Second swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. Swings through that one for strike two. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Two two now. And that misses off the outside edge. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. 3-2 now. In the air, right field. Pretty well struck. That's back. And that one is gone. His 14th of the year. And they add a couple more. It's 9-1. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my experience, when you're looking out over the plate, allowing the ball to travel, it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location. That's a tremendous swing. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm. Ball to strike, the pitch. High in the air, out to right. Cabbage on the move. Makes the catch inning over. But the long ball was working. We're at the top of the eighth. And here's the first baseman, number 18. The, the first baseman, number 18. The wind of the pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Movement in the bullpen. Andrew Bellotti appears to be getting loose. Strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. That one misses. And now it's three and two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. The kick, the three two. That one down the line, and that's just foul. Three, two. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Oh, you got to be pretty quick with the bat speed these days. So many guys throwing in the upper 90s, and you see the velocity on that one just tough to catch up to. I mean, guys are coming in, and they're going max effort. They're not looking to go a long distance. They want to get as many strikeouts as they possibly can. 1-1 one, one now. Foul tip. Oh, that got our umpire. And it looks like it got him upstairs. And now the lefty. Two balls, two strikes. And there's a the ball. Sneaks through, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Now batter. The second base. Runner on at first with Brandon. one gone. And next for LA, Brandon Drury. And a 3 1 on the way. On the ground to the left, and foul ball. Back to work, 3-2 now. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A-B going. And a 3-2. That's to third, and it stays fair. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. The third base. Two on with one out. So now the Angel cleanup hitter, Mike Moustakis. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And a count one and two. Otani at third, Drury at first, one gone. That one missing inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. 
Next one misses. Three and two now. And that'll load the bases. So they turn things over to the righty, Andrew Bellotti. He's been so good against lefties. And the batter will be the shortstop, Luis Rangifo. There's a 1 1. Yeah, that's too high. In this situation, he's trying to get you to pop something up or jam you. That's a really good take, knowing you got an opportunity to drive in a run here. Base hit, and a run comes in. The throw to third. And he's in safely at third, as two runs score on the play. Now that is the center Fastball field. pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep oh, yeah. dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. So in now for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. And a pitch. That's down and in. Two one. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Moniak checks his swing. Appeal down to third. And he held up. Left hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the catch. Runner tags for home. Throw is offline, and he scores. It's now 9-4. to four. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst-case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. The pitch. And downstairs. Runner at second, two down. That one in for a strike, two and two. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. Three runs on three hits, no errors, and... And welcome back. And now the catcher comes up to him. JT Real Muto. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. Off the batter's eye and gone! He'll circle the bases, his 150th career homer. And they tack one on the board. It's 10-4. A new arm into the game, the righty, Jaime Berea. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but... He's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. And there's a hit. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good now about that one. Just Let's a solid that. swing right there. Yeah. Caught it out front and ripped yeah. it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Jake Cade, the next to hit. Fouls one away and now three and two. Nobody out, runner at first. And a swing and a miss, and one gone. Really tight bite on that slider and just couldn't get the barrel to it out That's front. You've got to try to pull those hands tight to the body to get it through. And I'm thinking he probably wanted that pitch to end up even more inside to keep it out of the danger zone. But it had enough late break and deception to get the job done. In the air on the infield. Puts the squeeze on that one, and there's two down. Well, that's a frustrating into the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that the pitch was right seven. down the middle. Good I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. And instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Ball to strike. Bounced up the middle. Flips it. They get the force. That's out number three. The Phillies get one by way of the long ball. Back here in Philadelphia, and now the right fielder, right Trey fielder. Cabbage. Trey Cabbage. 
Line drive. Whips it to first on the run. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Randall Gritchick, the next to hit for the Angels. Payoff pitch. And he walked him. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little now surprised it went his way at the plate. 18. But as a hitter, you'll take that all day. And now, number 18. The 2 1. Ripped to third and caught. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they uh -huh. still drive you absolutely crazy. So they're down to their final out. Now it's the DH for the Angels, Shohei Otani. That nope. misses the zone. Two and one. one Gritchick leads off first with two down to the inning. And that one fouled off. Just one strike away. Kate on the move to his right. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Phillies take this one in a blowout. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level. And you start to gain this momentum. And you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. Guys are making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can. Perhaps push it up to double digits. 